Give me fuel, give me fire, give me that which I desire. All right, hey everybody, my name is TC, and tonight I have the good fortune of being your host for the Metallica Fan Conference. Um, I'd like to take a moment to explain what Fan Conference is, and it is essentially a, a fantastic way for fans and the band to get together and communicate, um, spend a little time to know each other on an intimate level. Um, what we did was the people of Artist Red had fans email in questions to um, the Metallica.com website. And we had thousands upon thousands of questions from all over the world to go through. Um, it was no easy task, but we managed to edit it down to 15 winners who will be calling in tonight from various places and speaking to Metallica. Metallica Live. We have one lucky winner with us here tonight who will be my co-host for the evening, Connecticut Kev. Hey, How's it going? going? Good. How are you? Excellent. I'm very excited. And uh, we're here with the hardest working band in rock and roll, Metallica. Hi, yeah. guys. How's it going? What's up, guys? Be on the damn. Fabulous. Kev TV. <laughs> Kev TV. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And um, I'm assuming that everybody knows everyone's name. But, you know, we have Lars and Kirk. Jason and uh, oh, I'm, I'm, uh, uh, Mito <laughs> is here with us this evening in the studio. So um, I'm going to start with Kev and say, Kev, I think you have some questions for Metallica. Yeah, I got a couple. Um, no. Are you sure? Can I go? Well, that's the answer to all. The okay. Um, <laughs> well, the new one with the symphony. Uh, you think it made any longtime fans like guys with you for a while uh, thinking? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> But do you think do you think it'll have like an effect? Like people have been seeing you for a while, like you know, you change stuff up with the blackout, you change stuff up with load, reload, whatever. You know, it may be a natural progression for the band. But do you think like it, it it could go too far and people just be like, you know, forget it? They never go too far. <laughs> it's never far enough. Well, it's not. It's never easy being a Metallica fan. Yeah. You know that. Yeah. Uh, you know, we go on road and they gotta follow us to the dust. Yeah. Uh, this is very necessary for us to go to new things. Mm. And I think there's a lot of adventurous people out there that uh, that admire or at least uh, follow what we're doing mm -hmm. and understand it. And there was a special project, like a one-off thing, kind of a challenge we took on mm -hmm. this for this year. You know, that came together now, so it was mm -hmm. uh, not like you're going to hear a bunch of symphony on all Metallica songs from yeah. now on. Whatever, it's just a very special thing that, we, that we felt we needed to do like to keep, to keep ourselves healthy and whatever, you know. Keep, keep things changing. Like you say, it's important to keep changing. Yeah. Like and get stacked in. Show your underwear. Yeah, no, I try you. to do that. Um, <laughs> what are some other um, <laughs> questions? Like, uh, <laughs> you, you first, Miss Law, are you awake? Yep. You with it? Mm -hmm. All right. Um, you still listen to the Misfits? No. The new stuff? I never really listen to them that much. You never listen to them that much? That's more what James is. Guys. Do you still, you still a question, man. <laughs> <laughs> James, down there. Um, do, you, do you still think like the Misfits still have a going on with that new singer and stuff? You still Still listen I to like stuff. the songs. You like the songs? Yeah. I think they're. About, he's about as close as early Glenn is gonna get. Mm -hmm. And I like that stuff. I like the catchy kind of like boy stuff. Three chord, yeah. sing along stuff. Very good. I like it. Mm -hmm. But um, do you think like, with Glenn, do you think I'll ever get back with him, or do you think it's like a lost call? I can answer. Or do you that. Yeah. <laughs> a definitive That's a no. Big fat no. no. <laughs> Capital letters. Yeah. Huge letters. <laughs> what do you mean? Occasionally, uh, I speak to Glenn now and again. And, and yeah. uh, the vibe I get off him is just a big, fat is that, nada. Yeah, I, I hear stories that doesn't even talk to Jerry and Doyle It's um, Yeah, yeah. It's a, you know, it's a political. Spot. But, you know, I, I, I think, I think what, what the, the Mist are doing is, is pretty cool these days. You mm -hmm. know, even, even though it isn't with Glenn, mm -hmm. it's still really fun to listen to. Yeah, it's still rocking. It's, you know, it's still, it's still cool. That's cool. Um, are there any, like, bands that you guys listen to that are, like, maybe smaller now that you think are, like, up and coming and could be big down the line? Down the road, like any like bands that are starting off now. You guys, Neither like, like already. Uh, no. Fu Manchu. Fu Manchu. Puya. 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 That's cool. It's a uh, solid metal band. Puerto Rican. South, South, South American. Yeah, South def I don't definitely heard. Puerto Rican. Puerto Rican. Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's good stuff. That's good yeah. stuff. Cool. Um, if you guys 
It's like going on the road and do you guys have any ideas like who you're gonna open for you? If you Somebody can think of really, really large ones, ones Kid Rock. Yeah. <laughs> large ones Kid Rock and who else? Ted Nugent. Ted Nugent. Middle Age Rock. Grown up Rock. Uncle Rob. Uncle Rob. So Kevin, what do you say we should uh, maybe cut to a, a caller we have on sure. the line? Sure. Let's do that. That's uh, cool. Uh, Kev TV. <laughs> Actually, uh, first call is uh, uh, Gina. No, I'm gonna butcher this one. Just, just Di Donato yeah. from Very Telford, good. Pennsylvania. You there? Qu question for Metallica. I certainly am. Thank oh. you very much. Uh, yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Gina, we're just working through some sound problems here, so bear with us. Fine. Feedback. Okay. okay. <laughs> feedback. feedback can be fun. Part of our sound. Uh oh. Okay, you ready to go? Yeah. Okay. That's good. cool. You got the good. Ask the question. Alrighty. Now that you've heard the symphonic treatment of your music, how do you think this will influence your future writing? How how it influence our future uh, writing? You know, it could go any way. I mean, I'm not too much of a prophet, but uh, you know, now that we have some sort of a, a symphonic experience under our belts, you know, there's a there's a, there's a good possibility. There's a, there'll be more triangle. <laughs> Man, more I on me. <laughs> I think the best thing I took away from this was um, maybe the way that people are trained differently, classically like this, listen to music differently mm -hmm. because true. they play it differently as they form pieces of a puzzle in a spinning. Yeah. yeah. So maybe uh, um, the way that I go about listening to things and orchestrations of bands and arrangements could be helped by that. So. Yeah, like there's a whole lot that. of depth, huh? Gina. Thank you, Gina. Right on. Yes. Telford, PA. Uh, second call is from Cole Farris from Columbus, Ohio. All right. Columbus. Hi. Hi. Howdy. Hello. 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 There. What's up, boy? <laughs> my question is, was it intimidating working with classically trained orchestra musicians? And what type of response did you get from the members concerning your music? Right. Can you hear her? It's yeah. really hard to hear. I think uh, um, there were some that really sounded like Metallica. Should we maybe repeat the question? Everybody to make sure that they know what we're answering. Yeah, can uh, you, I don't know if they hear us. We're all new on this read, thing, so. Read questions. Because we like when people are there. Was it intimidating to perform with classically trained orchestra users? What type of vibe did you get from the orchestra members concerning your music? They loved it. I mean, you know, maybe they were a little intimidated of us, but you know, we weren't very much intimidated by them. Mm -hmm. like you get, Except like, for the heart player. Yeah. <laughs> Did you own the Harley and uh, always uh, want to go out and have beers with us. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get any direct feedback? Did, like, any of the guys in the auction that'd be like, you know, this is like the craziest thing we've ever done? Like, I think mm -hmm. they just enjoyed the fact that it was completely different from mm -hmm. anything they did. Yeah. yeah. Part of their main repertoire or whatever. Yeah. Every, you know, they're booked for two years in the same thing. Yeah. The fact that they were. Pace. You know, they uh, might have known some of our stuff or their kids mm -hmm. bringing it into the album, mm -hmm. whether they wanted it there or not. It was played. <laughs> it was so. present. Yeah, there was, there was some uh, cool oh, mixed reaction. Though. Some people were like the primary cellist came up to us right away with the black albums we signed this for. Mm -hmm. Then there was cats from you know somewhere else and some different kind of attitude that you know, mm -hmm. said it all sounds the same to me, and I'd be yeah. just here for the. Kind of like, do my job, like a, like like a, almost like and an, everything else in between. Like an least type so, thing, almost. Kind of, yeah. and there, there were members of the order that didn't want stuff signed. <laughs> there was only a few. There was a lot more Metallica fans at the end of those shows. Okay. At the beginning. At uh, mutual respect. Yeah. Yeah, a whole new group of people to your music. Uh, I, don't know. I don't know about that, but the, the yeah, whole but thing was that they, they stepped up to the channel just like we did. Mm -hmm. There was more unknown territory for them than there was for us. There's already our songs we already knew how to play them. Yeah. There's all yeah. new, well, you know. <laughs> we sometimes played more times than they had, let's just put it out yeah. so there was, you know. It was cool though. I thought it came out really good overall. That's good. For, for as, as many things that could have gone wrong. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it was not existent. Yeah, well, there's some things, but I mean, there's a lot of chances of coming from two different worlds like that. Mm -hmm. A lot of chances of clashing. Alright. I go next. Okay. Yeah, thank you. So thank our you, next Nicole. From Nicole. No, we had Nicole. Oh, I'm sorry. We're thank Terrence. Nicole. We're on to Terrence White from Brooklyn, New York. Terrence, are you there? Yeah. Nothing now. Don't discard Terrence White. 
We're gonna ask. No, it's stop. We're gonna answer Terrence. Or you ask Terrence. All right, Ter much. Terrence question. Terrence White from Brooklyn, New York. I'm gonna plug in case he can't get through. Uh, where do you guys see the future hey. of rock music? Pretty jazz. I see the future of rock music at Red Cloud. Answer. Your answer. Wow. Here's that ten. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. right here. <laughs> I get you afterwards. <laughs> Lars, hello. I think uh, the next couple of years are gonna see um, a lot of rock bands doing. Um, collaborations with Symphony Orchestra. <laughs> That's what I think. Limp Bizkit and Corn, they're all around the corner. <laughs> symphony is give up what they're doing now. <laughs> and, uh, put, put spikes and leather on them. <laughs> with some old, old, old generation. What do you guys think of like the whole kid rock, like you know, like the whole like rap rock fusion, like I'm Rage, Limp Bizkit, Corn, like do you see that as like Hello? You know, like gone, like something else. Gonna some, some's good, some's not as good, just like any music, and mm -hmm. time will tell. When the cream will rise to the top, the others will fall to the wayside. The coolest thing that's happening now is we reflected, we reflected a little bit in uh, things that we listen to on the radio, but even more so on the live arena, that um, uh, a more diverse array of people, uh, say, five different types of music around one stage playing in one band, kind of like the Puya thing or Oza Motley or something like this, where you got a turntable guy and horn players, bass guy and a rapper, and a couple of Spanish players. Yeah, yeah, it's like a community. Yeah, and, and then a more, a more diverse uh, crowd watching them and enjoying mm -hmm. all styles. Of yeah, music. like so you don't, so you don't have like the same like you know set crowd like you know like, right. you go to so not, not so much tunnel vision. Yeah, it's only like metal, only like yeah, pop. Like, or like kinda, you go see yeah. bands play, you know who's going to be like, like bands like, like like open up like the spectrum and like bring bring more people in. It's yeah, like, I yeah think, like, just I me think, trying to open open it up a bit. Mm -hmm. I think I think that what you'll see Anywhere. is you'll you'll see it like across genres, a lot of genres coming into the uh, the rock genre and doing a. a Fusion. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's already happening now with yeah. rap, mm -hmm. you know, hip hop, you know, Booyah's doing the salsa thing, we're doing mm -hmm. the symphony thing. Yeah. You know, I'm just waiting for the next Pokemon to back. <laughs> Weird Al. Um, oh, he did it, see? There, there you go. go. He, he's already on the bandwagon. Exactly. Um, so, so let's do a test here and see if we can anything through this little speaker. Yeah. Hello, um, Hello. Terrence. Um, no, sorry, we, we, sorry about your question there. Um, Alan Truban. Alan? Where's Alan from? Are you well, Alan Truban from Bear, Delaware. Bear, Delaware. Uh, having a good little run. Hello? Okay. Oh, hello, man. Alan. Yeah, hello. I like we this have question. No communication. Well, let's yeah. Just, you, as like, he's representing, I like uh, the question. representing Alan. Alan Truban. Alan Truban from Bear, Delaware asks the question of which member can spit the farthest? You spit got, the farthest. Yeah, I sound like. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Find out. I, I, I knew this was coming. <laughs> right, right off that way. Too good to waste that was that. I'll be nice. I for stage. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Who can spit the buzz? I don't know. We never really had this. Sat down and had the contest. I've been a little busy. To I it's all. It's not about this. It's about accuracy. Yeah. Right. Oof. Good answer. Good answer. <laughs> <laughs> hope you're, hope well, you're with then, us there, Alan. But then there's also, you know, consistency in color. Hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of factors here, folks. The bouquet, okay. you know. Yeah. That okay. might be a whole other fan conference just <laughs> on bidding, actually. actually. Yeah. 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 Okay. We're going to move along. It's hard to get an actual booger in. <laughs> Ooh. you gotta be, you got to be sick for those. Gee, let's go. Can we go you on to real messed uh, up. Gene McRae, please? Oh, uh, the phone's work. Hello. Telephone. Hear me? Hello. Oh. Is someone on the phone? Surreal. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Please drive through. Okay. I'll take up and uh. Can I please get? Oh. Is the phone working? Or am I just gonna keep please talking? Please represent that? James no, McRae. Right. I'm definitely gonna represent James McRae. Right. Okay. James McRae from. from Ontario, Canada. Oh. Can I ask questions. If there were, if it's a movie made about the band, what actors would want to play each of you? No. Would oh. you want to play? Would you want to play each of you? Who, who you play though? James. Spader. Well, for me, it'd be a, a toss-up between uh, Pierce Bronson and uh, Cheech Marin. <laughs> <laughs> like, a, like a hybrid or one or the other? Yeah, yeah, hybrid with it. <laughs> That'd be sweet. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm for either uh, uh, Crispin Glover or Al Pacino. <laughs> <laughs> Crispin uh, Glover would be great going, for you. Going pretty high. <laughs> uh, Pressure's on, James. Cartman. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys have like any favorite movies like Out Now that you guys like just like religiously watch when you're on the road? Big Lebowski. Oh, sweet movie. There's a drink. There's a beverage. Do you like? Do you, what? Do you 
You like watch that like on the road and stuff or just, just watch a lot of times this, this year. This year. You watch, you watch a lot of rally bus? Yeah. Pardon? Do you watch it on the tour bus? Uh, yeah, I don't know. In the back lounge. Right. Lars, sometimes when he lets me come on his plane, I can watch it. <laughs> There's only two, two real movies that I, I think have had any, any relevance in the last uh, 200 years. And that's <laughs> happiness and gummo. <laughs> okay, now, now that everybody's done with that, ask him about movies because he's the king. What about movies? What do you want? <laughs> what about movies? What about movies? Well, he's got any, any input on movies? Any, What's any favorite this, picks? This year, was the two that just will crack people's heads? Boys and Clients, Father and Son, it's darkest. What's that movie for a long time? It was good. Yeah. Entertaining. <laughs> it was the darkest. I mean, it's, it's nasty. It's, it's like happiness and all. Do you, like, get some, do you try to get to movies like often or just kind of like when you can, like when you're around? As often you, as possible. Yeah. Cool. Like anything else you've seen recently besides like that? I mean, I've seen... Malkovich, American Beauty. Malkovich is uh, pretty interesting. It's a valid, valid attempt. The idea is a little too long for an hour and a half, but uh, it's, it's very strong. Cool. I, uh, I, I really like uh, Babe 2. <laughs> Big in the City. That's the dark babe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the babe you didn't on the first one. The other back. side, man. <laughs> uh, she gets run out by Giuliani. I think those phones are. I don't think so. I don't think we have any audio at all now. But um, we can give it a try. We'll find it. <laughs> babe, on <a> dick. <laughs> Ro roast babe. Uh, 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 who are we going to talk from now? We're going to try to we talk to Jeremy oh. Sanchez, maybe. Hello? Hello? Oh, man. Hello? All right, are we talking about having to do Mike? Mike? My, my, yeah, Mike's, Mike's not around. Mike was ex. Mike's gone. Okay. But I love how before the thing they're like, oh, AT&T works 99.9 percent .9 of the time. Yeah, that's Here's that point one. Yeah, it's not pulling through. Yeah, it's just, like, just in case. Oh, gotta get shut off the old Yeah, he's over. I'm gonna try to call him. Be like, hey, what's up, mom? I'll be like, uh, mom. Okay, here you go. Yeah, we have bugged you. Um, now the what's this next one? Who's this next? Uh, one? The next question is from Jerry Sanchez from uh, uh, Leah. Florida. Hi, Leah, Florida. Florida. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, he says, uh, one of my favorite songs, in my opinion, one of the most emotional songs by Metallica is Dyer's Eve. I read somewhere that you guys have never played it live. Why is that? And, you know, is it true? Have you guys ever played it live? Nope. Nope. Will you ever? Mm -hmm. Is it? Wouldn't hold my breath. <laughs> is there a reason for it? You just don't do it. I forgot how to play. Are you serious? <laughs> oh, I don't think we know how to play it in the first place. <laughs> it's sort of pieced together, really. Like what? Like while you're in the studio? Well, it's just a strange song. It's pretty consistent. It's not, it's not, you know, too off. You guys just, just won't be playing it. Like, it's not like a song to they'll be included in the next live set. Who knows? We never know. like out old stuff. You know, Trapped Under Ice. Stuff, but you never know. So, like, Trapped Under Ice won't, won't ever make the... Uh, There's only so many songs you can play live. Yeah, I mean, you guys you guys got such a catalog to go through. I mean, you can pick and choose whatever. So... Thanks. Yes. You're welcome. <laughs> you heard it from Kevin. Come on, yeah. Like, at least he gave, he gave us the go-ahead. <laughs> gave us the go-ahead. Um, want to go to another question? Well, you know, it's, it's bad because this question's from Israel. Oh, and, uh, man. You know, trying to keep the international flavor. Hello. I think that we'd get something Omar going. Shaked. Kevin, it's all yours. All right. So this question is, is from Omar Shaked from... Oh, man. I can't mm -hmm. pronounce Netanya. anything. Netanya, Israel. How do you see Metallica 10 years from now? Kind of like... Bent over... Crooked. A little crooked. <laughs> crooked little. I think you'll see us in years from now. Yeah, you know, appreciate that. Crystal ball, it's like... You know how you'll see us 10 years from now? 10 years older. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good, solid answer to pretty obvious question. That's pretty solid. <laughs> yeah, I think that covers the ground. Like, no, but what are, you, what are you guys doing for 10 years from now? You think you guys will be playing? You think it'll... I'm sorry. <laughs> what? I'm not married, right? Uh... Maybe you can interview us in 10 years to find out. Yeah. It's fair Keep enough. That question. I don't know. As long as we uh, like creating music together, mm -hmm. we'll be around. I think now it'll still be listened to in a way. You know, yeah. Always, Do you think you guys are still... something that people are always going to enjoy I mean, like, in some manner. Mm -hmm. The tour schedule you got kept for like the Black Island. What do you have for like two years on the road? Something ridiculous? Something, something like two, that. Two, two and a half yeah. years? Like, do, you, do, you, do you guys still think you'd be on the road for that long? I, mean, I think it's necessary. <laughs> We've done it. You heard yeah. that. Yeah. Two would be much more comfortable now as far as the planning and all mm -hmm. kind of things. Just spend more time and all more time with family. Yeah. Work out right, which 
Mr. Blake's getting pretty good at that over there. So. <laughs> um, next question? Yeah, we might as well. I think we're on our own. You we're kicking yeah. butt, too. Um, yeah. Now we're going all the way to Texas. Okay. Mark Wimmer from DeSoto, Texas. I pronounced that pretty good. Yeah, uh, in your opinion. Oh my god. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you totally can. This is all you I'm Kev T V. Jason, I'm representing uh, Mark Wimmer from DeSoto, Texas. In your opinion, who would miss six year transvestite Kirk or Lars? <laughs> James, you sure you didn't write that one? You answer it, buddy. <laughs> you know, I, uh, I don't know. You Why don't you go who do you think would be sexy? Well it could be either well, Lars or me, but the, 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 the real the, the, Yeah, you're right. I think, That's I Definitely. That's definitive answer. I think the real question to be asked is uh, compared to him. Because you know, <laughs> right, we, yeah. you know, obviously, we don't know how, how good a, 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 we don't know what he looks like. Yeah, he's, he's, he's probably sexiest transvestite. Maybe he has yeah. really a good uh, way to judge it. Yeah, you know, you know, they say about that. Texas. Yeah, steers and uh, cowboys. 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 You win. Hello. I just want to know why he. Okay. That's great. Thanks, Mark. You got answer. Both of them together. I think what's much more interesting, actually, is who would make a sexual transvestite between Jason and James. Yeah, mm. it's, it's, it's obvious. It's yeah. yeah. You know, why is oh. it obvious? <laughs> 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 they represent liberty and freedom. Yeah. Yeah. Cross dressing. <laughs> Cross dressing. <laughs> All right. Then you would phone is on. Then you would burn. That what it says. Off. Phone is on. Yeah. Give Paula yeah. one yeah. second. If I was transvestite, I wouldn't be a feminist transvestite. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Alright, All right. Uh, All right. now Could the phones be up and running? Um, Sharon Kirk, are you there? Yeah, I am. Uh, Hello? Uh, <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I made it. Metallica. <laughs> oh, okay, it's kind of dorky, but of a, okay. classical, of a classical or romantic period art, who would you say Metallica most resemble with your symphony, symphony works? Wow. That's, That's pretty intense. Uh, you know, I would I would have to say Wagner I mean, is the obvious uh, obvious uh, correlation because Wagner was you know considered the the, the, the heavy composer of his time. But you know I you know I just, I, you can't really uh, you can't really compare what we're doing to to, to any sort of like, you know period classical classical composer because I you know it's just not right. <laughs> I feel it was a long time ago. Because I have no idea. Don't know it. Any of the classics are. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have to say either Venom or Guar. <laughs> That's a fair answer. Romantic. Yeah. Might might have stage props. <laughs> um, Thank you, Sharon. Oh, gosh, Sharon. Sorry. You like that? Sorry. Yeah, I'd probably apologize. That's all the people. That <laughs> I know. Awesome. A little rough. Yeah. Um. I got that. Um, You're doing good, for man. Michael, can yeah, you rock it? You rock it. I'm giving. Um, next call is Sharon. No, oh, that was Michael, Sharon. Michael. I mean, we just had Sharon. I take it back. Yeah. You suck. No. All right. <laughs> Since I've been deemed that I suck, we'll go to Michael Gidding from New York, New York. Mike, are you there? Yeah, what's going on? Hello? Mike? Well, Mike's outside, not in the studio. No. Hello? Hey, Mike. Is there? Yeah. Hello, I'm here. Hello? Yeah, what's up, man? What's going on? Good. Hello? What's your yeah. question? Yeah. We can hear you. Sorry. My question is, how is the, the evolution of technology within the music industry, like internet sales and MP3s, how affected you guys? That's a good question. Well, here we are on the on the internet talking to you, man. So I, I, that's a direct effect. Yeah. Hey, Michael, did you know that uh, your last name uh, uh, said backwards is the same? Yeah, that's really cool. Well, Gig spelled backwards. Or, yes, it is. Red backwards, backwards is Gig. He's the Antichrist. <laughs> that's a definite sign. So what do you what do you guys question? What do you guys think of the internet? Like, how do you think it's affected you guys? Like, selling your music? Like, maybe like getting it to more people? Or do you think like people are like taking your stuff for free with MP3s? Like, you know, all those sites, like stuff like that. Without I mean, buying the, the music out there, people. That's the whole idea. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you want your music to be heard. Mm -hmm. But I just, I can't believe that you wouldn't buy uh, buy the CD anyway. Yeah. Or, yeah, you want the artwork, you want the whole yeah. package. You, you know, want the whole deal, definitely. You want goofy to look on the new record. <laughs> it's like, oh That's man. I bought one of the first albums. Yeah. You go and you buy it. You look at you it. Know, you do the Iron Maiden record. I bought that for the cover only. Yeah. Looks. Yeah. Yeah. At the same time, people can at least learn more, become more aware of mm -hmm. There's so many other sites and a couple of really good ones. Yeah, there's a couple of real solid ones. They can at least find out what's going on, maybe into checking out Metallica more, going through into the cat. Yeah. Kind 
of things. So it can mm -hmm. definitely have its its goods in the way of its exposure, perks. right? Mm -hmm. In the way of you know, turning people to it that never would be turned on to it before or something. Mm -hmm. So that's cool. Yeah. Thanks, Michael. Okay. Um, next question. Whoa, 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 international one. Mark. Oh, I can't pronounce it. Zabo. Zabo. Zabo from Banyera, Hungary. This Mark, are you there? Don't they start Mark? Yeah, I'm here. Mark. Mark, are you there? Yeah, I'm good. Ask, uh, can you ask me a question? Yeah, the question is uh, to James. James, is it yes. true that your first impression of Lars was that he smelled awfully? <laughs> <laughs> smelled. Awfully. Is it true awfully? that your first impression huh. was that? Is awfully a word? Well, you smelled very European. You know, I wasn't used to any of that. <laughs> it was all new. Dude grew up in L.A., you know? <clears throat> How old were you guys when you met? I had soap in Europe. <laughs> you guys were what, like 19 when you when you first hooked up, started playing? Like 19? I think it was 20? 19. Wow. Something like that. 18 or 19? I don't know. I was Something 18. Like 18. But yeah. Uh, I definitely remember that. Yeah, a bit. Uh, introduced him to soap. He, he introduced me to the new wave of British metal. I introduced him to soap. And cleanliness. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Worked out for both of us. Yeah. All of us. I mean, good. <laughs> see, see what soap will get? Thanks, man. Thanks Thank for the question. <laughs> All right, the more international stuff. The more international stuff. We cool. got Ernest, uh, would that be Jonkers or Jonkers? Jonkers from the Netherlands. Ernest, are you there? Hello. Hello. Um, my question will be, uh, well, uh, what type of music will you never use for a CD? For example, uh, dance, hip-hop, because you used uh, already uh, grunts, hard rock, and now uh, music. So. Okay, so the question is, what type of music will the band never use to make a CD, dance, hip hop, something else, whatever? Yeah. Like, do you guys see like yourself like using like influences? Like, I say there ain't no for the brothers. <laughs> Show me your break dancing techniques. All right, here we go. We're gonna do this right now. <laughs> break out the cardboard and the uh, the old Actually, uh, untied Adidas. Our, our next uh, project after the symphony is uh, we're all gonna lay down our, our instruments and do the break dance project. Just lay out some cardboard. Yeah, just go for it. No rules, man. We're just gonna learn how to break dance and, you know, put it on DVD. Taking it to the street. Taking it to the street. angles, you know. You got it. Going back to the roots. I just think we've learned to never say never. Mm -hmm. You know. Like, you know. If you ever work with a symphony. Yeah, like. Oh, and like. Like five, five, five years ago, somebody said you're gonna work with a symphony one day on stage. Would you think that? It's all about options. What do you think, Lars? All right. Do you, like, no rules, man. You would believe that if they said you worked the symphony, or you'd be like, hey, whatever. Yeah, see, Ten years ago, we wouldn't have, wouldn't have probably accepted it. I don't know. Mm -hmm. That way, it was showing them what our favorite fingers. <laughs> <laughs> the thumb, right? That's right. That one. Thumbs up. Um, next question, we got <laughs> Terry Saloni <laughs> from... Good. <laughs> yeah, no one <laughs> is. I'm fine, dude. Um, <laughs> or else, uh, I can't. Don't say that. From somewhere in Massachusetts. <laughs> Who's Terry? Hello, Terry. Terry. Hello. Hi. What are your ex expectations for Y2K? Question mark. Oh, I, I see. I see. What are your expectations for Y2K? I, I see a prophecy. Uh, I see a cigar. Uh, uh, I see a doom. Well, we're we're gonna be uh, playing with Ted Nugent and Kid uh, Rock at Pontiac Silver Dome New Year's Eve, and uh, you know, uh, once uh, those numbers. Change. The lights go out, man. I'm running. <laughs> <laughs> it's Detroit, man. Yeah, it is Detroit. You know how Detroit is. Yeah, hey, like right, what? Midnight all cuts off, and me and Ted will have our buffalo parked outside. There you go. Um, off, into the, off into the hills, man. <laughs> go hunt for a few days. Yeah. Live on the land. Like, like, what do you guys think of Watt? Like, what? Do you, what? Do you, like, do you think like all the hype's true? Like, things gonna fall apart? And all hey, that kind of... we'll, we'll find out if we do. <laughs> <laughs> like, what do you think? You you guys would do if like all, oh, the, all that new adventure <laughs> <laughs> new page like, like if that's if that stuff's like legitly true and all the lights do go out what, like what do you think you would do like you're stuck on stage like you know three to one and everything freaks <laughs> have a lovely <laughs> <laughs> <Play> acoustic <laughs> everybody get yeah, yeah. Yeah. your clothes in the pile and <laughs> bring back the acoustic, acoustic. set yeah, we yeah. Can play acoustic there you go that one way to get it back with buddy yeah. Yeah. <laughs> have you ever done on flow from tv no have you ever been like offered to do it? Like, has it ever been like, time, proposed? Yes. Would you do it? Like, is it something you think you would do? Do they still have unplugged? I don't, don't even think so, but I'm sure they would have it for us. Yeah, <laughs> I don't even think, I don't even know if they have music on MTV oh, anymore. Oh, dude, 
You're lucky if you see music on MTV anymore, but like, do you think, <laughs> do you think you'd do it? Like, if, if you, they can't. Is that we did. We, we had fun with mm -hmm. part of our set for a little while. Yeah. We did, like, what, what did you do? Like, you did like, we sound way better acoustic. than we did, dude. Yeah. <laughs> what did you guys do acoustic when you played? I know you did, oh, wait, you did uh, Horseman? What did you do? Last Caress. Last Caress. Motor Breath. Motor Breath. That was a doozy. That was a doozy. <laughs> Why was that a doozy? Oh, what's well, the, uh, it's that the most lit, uh, the least likely song mm -hmm. thing we did. Do acoustically. And it was doozy. <laughs> is that is that doozy? You know, it's cool. Yeah, we played more breath. Yeah, it's cool. Man's lower. Fades of one. Like when you got when you guys go on tour, do you guys like try to mix up the set list? Do you like? Remember when much? Billy come up and sing with us? He didn't show up. He was Billy's right. Oh, I know. Oh, Billy Corgan. Yeah. That was That's sad. Cool. When you guys go on tour. Or do you guys? That was very sad. Do you guys have you to say that? You were particularly upset about that. Yeah, we sent him a card. Remember? He was a little sad about it. Well, okay. Okay. Yeah, he had a yeah. tummy ache or something. He was out on you guys. Well, you said it. We did. All right, Sean. We were just expecting him. Yeah. And he didn't show. What was that at? The, like the Chicago one or something? Sounds about right. That makes sense. Okay. I think it's Chicago. Is the word approximately? Does the word like become a blur to you guys? Like he like city to city and just like you know thank you whatever and just like hello, you, hello Cleveland. Cleveland yeah, yeah. and you, you get the guitar just like oh man we're in St. Louis something like that like do you guys like get burnt and like that I need a guitar that tells me where I'm at <laughs> that's a spinal tap I, I put Dude. a globe yes. a positioning unit in my guitar <laughs> there you go that's I can't know city we're in <laughs> like hello turn left now <laughs> I should have had that one that, where I had the pyro. Warning. Global. Like a little ankle thing tells you to move. Like, do you guys like ever just get like sick? Of, like, not sick. Like, just burnt out of the city and just like you know the road. Really sick. The road becomes a blur. Really ill. <laughs> <laughs> no, certain. It depends on where you're at and how much fun mm -hmm. you're having. You know, if it's uh, it's a long, a pretty long leg by the end, you're uh -huh. pretty burnt, and sometimes yeah. you don't. Like are there are there, are there easier cities to play like countries maybe are there like easier places to play <laughs> like than other countries to play? Let's what? Name some of them. <laughs> you go first. <laughs> I, I go pass it around for a while. <laughs> like I, it is a question that came through quite a lot. Yeah, I definitely I definitely remember flipping through the the uh, binge and purge book and seeing like that whole rundown of like the rules for Jakarta, wherever that I don't know what that is. But I know as as it, looked, crowd, it looked real intense, like you guys like couldn't fit and stuff like that. As far as crowds and us playing, I mean, no country more difficult than the other. Mm -hmm. you know, all the other logistics that go around it, mm -hmm. certain things are hard to get in, the crew, you know, trying to talk the, to the local crew to load in, and uh -huh. they're stealing picks instead of doing <laughs> their gig. Yeah. Some of that stuff's a little more difficult. The shit that's going on in the country when you're there that wasn't going on when you planned it out, and the crazy shit that always Yeah, doing like doing when you have to those countries all those crazy rules like do you abide by them like they tell you don't do you, do you actually like make a conscious effort to not do stuff that like but it's like, like you just, you just yeah not, not spitting that's the fine line of like, that's getting, you know, we really didn't stop doing that mm -hmm. there's some things that simply that you show respect Back to in people's countries you know that's like, what you want them to do with yeah. the years man mm -hmm. so that's cool you gotta do that. almost and like some goodwill and that most of stuff important. to do with age yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so last call jeez Last call. Last call is yeah, yeah, okay. You can't know if you touch somebody you shouldn't touch. You won't have that ham tomorrow. <laughs> the last call is from uh, it's an international call from Robert Hansen from Manchester, England. Manchester. Robert, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Yeah. All right. <laughs> What's up, Robert? Uh, yeah. My, my question is, um, of all the things you accomplished throughout your years on the road, what are you the most proud of? Surviving. <laughs> Has it really been tough, like to just like go along? Do you think it's well, been? Well, yeah. Like... Sometimes it's a question of health, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes you get really sick on tour. Yeah, like like uh, like uh, you know. So sometimes you might get appendicitis and you can yeah. die. Oh, oh, and it has to get home. Oh, it has to get removed. You, might, you give yeah, it out to people. Yeah, I'm to a friend of Curtis on yeah. a real tour though. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, you know, what I'm mm -hmm. saying is sometimes it's a, qu a question of health. <laughs> yeah. And, like, uh, it's How a are you generalizing? I think, I think her initial answer is great, is we can still sit here after how much of our time and still like joke out with each other and have a good time. That's, that's a pretty
he makes it for himself. Yeah. Something to be proud of. Yeah, Compared to know. a lot of other bands that were that started out with or started out, you know, half half time ago or whatever, mm -hmm. nine years ago or something. And just then still fit or whatever. Mm -hmm. Or can't get along or mean yeah. to each other, those kind of things. Yeah. You know? So that's, that's like, successful. That's like if you guys <laughs> Hey, don't start with hey, me in front of it. Not again! Dude, oh man, fight for the people. Fight for the people. Make a new song. <laughs> um, like what happens like if you guys are like on the road when you get like ridiculously sick? Like what happens? You know, you just guys laugh at it. Stay away from until he gets better. Don't touch me, man. You just have to forge on, you know. Show must go on. Yeah, like how tough is it to like be like you can't even get out of bed and then like you have to go and play it's half hours. There's more common find it in yourself to do it. You have to light yourself on fire. <laughs> Before we'll let each other not go. That's right. <laughs> but in the, in the old days, travel in different ways and exposed mm -hmm. to you know, the temperature changes and that. And yeah. more, more uh, apt to yeah. get cold. I mean, like now we travel more comfortably and stay in that shit. Like you said, better things to eat. Yeah. Kind of things that come along with being hard. And yeah. Part of the reward, you know. So I think there's Lord. less frequency of, of that kind of illness. Oh, yeah. yeah. Thank you, Robert. Thank you, Robert. Thank, Thank you, Robert. Robert. Good question, Robert. Thank you. Thank you. Her. All right. You ready to Woo! Follow Kevin. Well, you know, Kevin, I think you have a new career. No. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Quit Future. school. That's All right. right. All right. So tell your, maybe you should tell your mom right now. Yeah. Maybe we should mom, mom, mom. I'm done. <laughs> yeah. Like, mom. mom. Kevin's mom. Yeah. yeah. Forget this. Yeah, you know, you, you, you pay intuition. You don't have to do it anymore. <laughs> Apparently, I have a career, so. <laughs> yeah. Sound Definitely. Garden, sound Garden, sound Garden, so much your mom. Long, Kev's mom. Kev's mom. Kev's mom. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah, I think so, I, I gotta try to stay in school. We'll yeah, see if it works. That's probably we'll be serious and everything. Real good idea. Yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah, cool. Alright, thanks guys. You know? so, um, tomorrow <laughs> is PSAs the... PSAs by Metallica. Tomorrow's the release of Metallica, S&M. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. And um, I'd like to take this opportunity to say thank you to Sudo. And um, of course Metallica. We wouldn't be here without them. And um, Kevin. King Thank Kevin, you. yeah, you. you rocked. I you tried. Rocked. And uh, apologize to um, the callers that we had audio problems with. We're but sorry I, that we couldn't um, hear you. Patch you through. Yeah, and patch you through. Bit. Yeah. <laughs> good we do have your home phone numbers. Questions down. Metallica wake up call. Good. Oh, that, that was, was good. good. Yeah, yeah was we, got, we got questions through. Just, we tried. Yeah, right. we did try. So that's it's all about pioneering, right? So we're going to do this next time. It's gonna keep getting smoother. Yeah. On the internet. And I have to say a big thank you. That's right. Scapegoat. Metallica. By the time corn gets in there, it'll be all oh. perfect. Oh. Oh. Hey, you know what though? The Don't thing is, that. hey, the thing is, they're not Metallica. That's they're, right. They definitely aren't. That's right. And you guys, I have to say a big definitely thank the you guinea pigs. The artist direct yeah, network cool. for exactly. facilitating our conference day. That's good. Um, be sure and check in Metallica.com tomorrow night for a live webcast of your yeah. band Metallica playing with the symphony live from Madison Square Garden and that starts that at so 8 o'clock cool. cool. East Coast time and 5 o'clock on the West Coast. Dude, it's so cool. nice. It's, like, it's always like, great. Thank you. And like thank you. Cheers. Thanks again to the fans. Kev TV. Thank you. That's exactly yeah.